It's been quite a while since we've done a base raid, and I've kept myself busy these past few days looking for the perfect base that we could hit. With the Daisy expansion mod, you see all kinds of bases. Some are small, while some are larger and more strangely built. Northeastern Chernaris can be known for its large industrial bases, so that's where I decided to check first. And that's when I found it. A massive clan base built on top of one of the large industrial buildings near Novo. Now this story begins at the Northwest Airfield where I find myself trapped in the ATC surrounded by a group of four. But before we go there, I just want to quickly thank you guys for all the love you're showing in every video and without your support I wouldn't be able to do what I do daily. Now before we get into the gameplay we have a quick message from the sponsor of today's video, Raid Shadow Legends. Now I feel like I don't even have to explain what Raid Shadow Legends is because you've definitely heard of the game from many of the other YouTube channels you've watched. But basically the game's free to play and it's cross device for Android, iOS and PC. Now the goal of the game is to gather the best champions, which you can then equip with many different types of armor that all have different effects and buffs. Once you have a team put together, you have the option of going through the campaign where you could level up your champions and get new gear, or you could go ahead and get involved in dungeons, faction wars, or even arenas where you can see how you stack up against other players. From my experience playing for the past few weeks, I found that the fastest way to level up your champions and get gear is by farming the campaign. But honestly, I prefer the competitive aspect of most games, so I prefer to play Arena where I can rank up by beating other players. The game also updates regularly with new events, and most recently they've added a 270 day daily login calendar where you can get rewards just by logging in. Also they've added champion fragments which you can get from special events that let you summon great champions, alongside a new bazaar where you can compete in a tag team arena to win high value items. If any of you guys play the game, you can add me under the name Nazar4, and if you join in the next 30 days using this special link in my description, you can get 100,000 silver, 10 champion shards, and a free champion named Slasher, which is really good for starting players. You can find all these rewards in your inbox here, and they're available for the next 30 days only for new players. group guys I don't know if they've spotted me or not shit they've definitely seen me it's three of them I'm gonna get fucked here, guys. I shoot. But you know what? I'm gonna do it. I ain't gonna be a bitch. That's f Yeah. That's four. Alright, they're tucked in. Here we go. Just need a good shot. Fuck, they're coming up, guys. Oh, they're running. I see them. I see them. Fucking full gear lead up there. Oh. Yeah, be sniping. Dang, I thought they were gonna push me. Oh, one is under me. What? Good luck. Fucking serious. They said you gotta give up, man. Give up what? You gotta come down with your hands up or we're gonna push you. It's up to you. Ow.
Wait, what the fuck is my- look at my gun! It's not off-centered. What? I'm tripping. I must be... Ah, oh, he's dead now. I really don't know where he is. Alright, I'm gonna go loot it. If I die and he's waiting at the corner, then I die. I mean, it is what it is. He's a sniper, which would be valuable. I could snipe them from up top if I can get his body. Oh, this is risky, though. The rest of his group never rushed me, and after waiting for a while, I decided it was time to reposition. Oh, this guy? This is like... It's like 500 meters, I feel like. Stand still, bro. Fuck, this breath. I'm gonna miss my shot. Oh, I missed it, he ran. Man. Just a group of two. These dudes are armed. If they go up there... Let's push up, let's go. I'm gonna just kinda I'm gonna risk it and go up a little bit further. Oh, it's right there, it's right there. <laughs> Wait a minute. He just ate a double shot of 308. And he doesn't even have a vest, I don't think. I just saw one right here, I swear. Oh yeah, there's... Oh no, so it's a zombie I saw, okay. Because I saw something at this wall right here. Watched it, and then... Reloaded. The keys are right in this barracks. Shit, maybe I was wrong. downstairs
What the fuck? How did I not see him in the window when I checked? Nice, I can't loot him. <laughs> This dude fell right under the bed. I could probably cut him up if anything. And then maybe get. Oh, I see one. I swear I just saw him right there. He's not dead. He shot after, but I'm pretty sure I hit, like. I mean, the crosshair was on him. But I feel like he survived that. He's still there. The fucker's still alive. I can't believe that. Maybe he ran. <laughs> Wanna see what happened. Yeah, someone's in here. You hear him? I knew I fucking heard him. Two. It's two. What a shitty spray. What the fuck? Where's he shooting me from? Nice, we got some good gear. Let's go. But these dudes were stacked, look at that. After having decent luck at the airfield, I decided to join up with some friends who were raiding some big clan bases in the northeast. Oh, so this is it. Yeah. That's a big one. Yeah. Someone spent a lot of time doing this. What the fuck? It's like floating out. Yeah, the bottom is probably honeycombed. Otherwise, I would say we can blow into one of these bottom walls. Yeah. This is honeycomb. It's really it. weird. Definitely. All right, boys. So this is the base we're going to be raiding. It's massive. Like... I don't even know how many walls they're gonna have, but God, um, they've also been like building recently. You see, there's a bunch of trees here cut down, like a shit ton of trees actually. All right, so you can see there's a dead body here, and I think this guy tried unlocking the code and he got the wrong code too many times because it'll kill you the code locks if you put the wrong uh, password too many times. But anyway, we got the first C4 being placed here, and we'll see what it looks like inside. Go on, yeah. Alright, we're in. Oh, shit. Holy shit. Come to me. Alright, so they've just blown in through the first door. And you can see the layout's quite weird. There's a large opening in the middle. This truly is a massive base. Wait, they only have... Wait, they have an unlocked door. What the hell? So it's just 1C4? This is one of the loot rooms. We have G36s, we have Scar H, M16, and RPK. Yeah, that's not bad. I'm assuming the main, like, good loot is behind more walls, though. 
No, they have code. I have two doors per oh. room, and one's code locked and one ain't. It makes no fucking it's sense. It's crazy how this shit's wide open. Yeah, like it looks like they're in the middle of base building still. Is this? Yeah, they still got code. They locks. must have a better loot room though, right? Like somewhere else. Everything yeah. is open for us. Some cash. This is very interesting because this is wide open. I have to check the rest of the base and see what they have. This is pretty much the same as the other room. Yeah, just more magazines here. We have M4s and MP7. The MP7 is kind of sick. I feel yeah. bad. It looks like they're just starting to base build. That's yeah, why. I think he caught them right as they're like getting code locks and stuff. Yeah. They should have bought eight code locks before they bought yeah, all these stuff though. Because that's a lot of shit just wide open. I didn't check this corner room. Let's see if there's any more gear here. The one thing they have a lot of is M4s. I'm guessing like each room is for one of their clan members. So maybe there's like four of them that each get their own room and they just haven't gotten around to locking it yet. I think we're about to head out since there's not really much. I mean, we don't really need M4s. We'll just leave that stuff to them and hopefully they get some code locks and like fortify this a little bit better next time. Alright, so what do you guys think of this base? Top, uh, on the top Which one? This one up here? Yeah. Yo, that's a, that's a good sized base, man. Oh, so you have to break this one, climb the ladder. Oh, that's dodgy, man. Okay, so we've boosted up from there. We boosted up to this roof. There's a base here. They have barbed wire everywhere. But there's nothing actually in there, so we're probably not going to raid it. Now, the base we do want to hit is this one. It seems to be quite large. But the issue we had was that we couldn't uh, use the ladder to get up. So they were like, they blocked that off. You know, they have barbed wire here. They blocked this off as well, but they didn't account for people boosting up like that and then running across. Anyway, we can just go up here and then jump to this ledge right here. That's going to allow us to bypass one code lock, so that's one less C4 we have to spend. And yeah, we can just go to the main door and start breaching. So I'm going to go ahead and try this. Okay, there we go. Also, we're playing Daisy Expansion, by the way, so there's no fall damage in this. Uh, it's just a bug with Daisy Expansion, so that's why when you jump, it looks kind of weird. Nice. What's the plan? What are we thinking? As soon as I get there, we're blown into it. <laughs> Alright, let's do it, yeah. It's super laggy when we get to the front door. So they have a lot of stuff here. You can see there's quite a few bases in Daisy Expansion. We have one up this hill here. Maybe we could check that one out later. Wait, so how long now since you placed it? Three minutes. Three minutes okay. Yeah. Okay, another one. Here we go. I feel like they have walls all the way down. Hopefully not, we'll see. There it is. There's a box! Damn, they got a lot of nails. So we have two entrances here. We have to pick the right door or the left door. Because they might not actually go towards the same, like, rooms. Or maybe they do go around and connect, who knows. But look, look when I aim, you can see the lag. So these dudes are stacked. There we go, let's check it out. Looks like an... I don't know, is that an M1A? M1A and an M14. God, it's so laggy in here. Okay, we're at the next door. So I think this was a... 
like a decoy room or a bait room just to bait us to use a C4 because look, there's not there's like nothing here. So either that or maybe it goes upstairs. Who knows? Anyway, we'll carry on going through. Oh my god, we're in. Someone's getting sprayed down there. First look, let's see what we have. Shit. Okay, there we go. That ammo, the BMG ammo is good. A lot of BMG ammo, damn. This is all pretty much empty from the looks of it. We have a single screwdriver. Oh my god, look at the nails. Wow. We have a lot of guns here. I see like uh these are there's AR15s I think. Not too bad. Oh, there's uh the AA12 here. I'm gonna see if I can grab that. Thing's really good close quarters, especially if they're like coming back to their base. I can defend with that. I don't know who, who drew that, but it looks fucking weird. This is pretty empty though. I think they set this up with the hopes of like filling it up, but they just haven't gotten there yet. But here we go. Now we got some big guns. I think that's an RPK. Uh, we have a PKM, an MP7, AR-15. I'm like lagging walking around here. They have so much shit. This side's fairly empty. We have a AWM right there. An M1A. Okay, here's- I think these are the good guns right here. It's like scars and stuff like that. M110s. Oh, there's a uh, Chaytac. Here we go. This gun's a beast. This thing one-shots pretty much like anywhere you hit. So we'll hold on to that for now. What I'm looking for is for C4, because that way we could take their C4 and hit another base. So I'm hoping they have some stashed away somewhere in here. Because right now it's just guns, but we could also sell the guns and make a lot of money with that. See, so this is also pretty empty. I like how they have the pistol set up, it's really cool. I like this cabinet. Okay, and the final row we have is over here, so if they have any C4, I guess it would be down here. So, did anybody find C4 here? It's all in the safe. Where's the safe? Um, over here. But the there's a lot ramp. of storage as well. Right here, baby. Oh, this is the shit. money shot you've been waiting for. Oh my! They're going to get the oh money for satchel God. charges to blow into it right now. Bro, what the? I didn't even notice the safe. <laughs> yeah. Holy I mean, it's shit, got. They're rich. It's got some decent stuff in there. Nine C4, yeah. Um, so there's still one other level, which I'm thinking there could be other stuff up there because you saw here, they only have like three code locks, which is odd given the size of the space. So I think the next priority right now is to get a C4 to break into this uh, safe because we don't know the code. So we'll break that open, get all this C4, and then maybe with this, we could use it to break upstairs. Or maybe they're just going to save that, that C4 for another raid. But anyway, we're going to head out now and do some trips.